Hello and welcome to another edition of Varsity Sports here on Educational Channel 15. The winter season is upon us. This is game number one of the varsity season. Varsity hockey, Somerville High School, varsity hockey team versus King Philip. On camera tonight, Mr. Bill Trudell. My name is Tim Cronin. Welcome to a new season of hockey. There are many news this year. New coaches, a bunch of new players. It should be an exciting season. A whole change in the operation this year. And we are just about ready to drop the puck here. Got four players up on the front line here at center ice for the Highlanders. One defenseman back, Corey McGlashing. And we are off and running. The team in green, the all green uniforms, and the gold is King Phillips Regional High School and white jerseys, red hockey trunks, our Somerville Highlanders. We are now playing in the varsity season. Number four on defense, Devin Alves, Chris Carvalho up front, also Anthony Valesio, number 14, and of course, number 13, Jonathan Lentini. Lentini, one of the captains, as well as Anthony Valesio. Coach Maxime Grachev in his first game here at the helm for the Highlanders. And word on the street is he has instilled a lot of discipline in these players, much needed discipline. I sure will say and we should see a much finer hockey team this season we look forward to bigger and better things now that there's a new system welcome aboard coach and our highlanders are now playing defense trying to defend their goal here putting on the pressure right away in the first minute is king phillips regional high school Number five, John Forsacata out on the wing. Number seven, Rich Levy, only a sophomore. 
Austin Silvestri skating a quick shift, number three. These are our Highlanders. Number 12 is back on defense is James McRaconis. And right now, all King Philip again to start this period. MIAA High School Hockey, three 15 minute periods. We are two minutes in so far, all King Philip. The Highlanders are going to have to go right to work here. First line in there again, number 22 is Chris Carvalho. 13 again, Jonathan Lentini. Just heard from local hockey coach to my left, Chris Capasso. And some nice pressure there by the first line of Valesio Lentini and Cavallo. Hey, Devin. And we'll have a face-off to the right of the King Philip goaltender. His name is Sam Thompson. We hope the Highlanders can pressure him with offense all evening. Levy, number seven on the left wing. Silvestri at center. And we have another whistle here. Again, the face-off to the right of the goaltender Thompson of King Philip. Now on the attack, King Philip shot taken. Nice save made by the goaltender Lentini. Kyle Lentini, sophomore goaltender. Levy. Number five is Craig Resmini, freshman. And a shift change for the Highlanders. You can see number 21, Ryan Mercier. Skating some defense with James. And the Highlanders now skating even at this point with King Philip. This is Mercier. He'll play the puck around. And again, King Philip doing a nice job applying that pressure. Highlander first line again into the game. Many underclassmen on this Highlander roster. Not skating a lot of seniors right away. The roster is loaded with ninth and 10th graders. We have 11th graders and uh, I'm looking at Four seniors in Silvestri, Lentini, Mercier, and Carvalho. Face off now in the King Philip end to the left of Thompson. So again, for the seniors, Valesio Carvalho, Silvestri, Lentini, and Mercier for the Highlanders. The rest all underclassmen. Clearing the zone. And we play on. James McRaconis. This is Levy, number seven again. McGlashing. He'll play the puck forward. This is Corey McGlashing's third year on the varsity. He's a junior now, one of their top defensemen. Puck played into the Highlander end. Lentini now leaving it for his man, James McRaconis. Valesio now, the captain. And he will apply that pressure. Anthony will never stop skating. Puck played around. McGlashing, shot is blocked. James, he'll send the puck up to the right side. Anthony, along with Devin. Number four, Devin Alves. He's a junior, 
And this is his third year on the varsity himself. Very physical action at this point. On the attack now, King Philip. Educational Channel 15 here, proud to bring you Varsity Sports. Big save by the goaltender, Lentini. Again, we have Bill Tradell on the camera, bringing you these fine pictures. We hope for the folks at home. This is a nice looking game on your television. We certainly strive for our best work here at Educational Channel 15. And now King Phillips setting up to the right of Lentini in the Highlander end. Clean win of the faceoff. The Highlanders are going to have to ward off this attack for sure. King Philip now in control, but the puck clearing the line. Resmini on there with Silvestri. Nice pressure there, shot taken, the save made by Thompson, and involved in that was number 13 for the Highlanders. Some nice work there. Jonathan Lentini, one of the other captains. Anthony Valesio suffering a tough hit from behind. Levy battling against the boards. Oh, and Anthony Lucky, oh, and he will get called for that. I wasn't sure if the official let that go, but when he sticks his leg out like that, the referee pretty much 100% of the time will make that call. So he'll serve two minutes in the box. So now shorthanded are the Highlanders. Anthony Valesio, one of the captains, and he is sure to be one of the main cogs for the Highlanders this season. Anthony, you have to watch that leg there. That's not going to work, especially against a good team like King Philip. We play on. Nice hustle by Lentini. And again with the leg there, Lentini lucky. McGlashing. Nice job defensively, taking his man off the puck. And the puck cleared. Nice job on the penalty kill. We have under a minute to go on the King Philip power play. This is Carvalho down in the corner. Silvestri trying to slow things down for King Philip. And now King Philip will have to reset themselves. And again, some nice penalty killing by the Highlanders. Under 30 seconds to go on the King Philip power play. Resmini, number five. Alves trying to get a stick in there, throwing the body around. Shot taken. And young Lentini with the save. King Philip again, under 10 seconds to go on their power play. Trying to set things up. Anthony ready to leave the box, shot taken wide. Oh, dodging a couple of bullets there where the Highlanders were back at full strength. Mercy are now trying to clear, and again, King Philip applying that pressure. Cover it up, young man, and he does. Kyle Lentini will win the faceoff for his team as he covers up the loose puck in his own goal. So a nice penalty kill. 
for the Highlanders. Again, we look for what is most assuredly a more disciplined Highlander team this year. Great young coach. It looks like he has a nice young staff there leading this Highlander team. And on the attack again, Valesio with Lentini and Cavallo. Shot taken, saved by Thompson. 5.46 to go here in the first period. 0-0 zero, zero hockey game. First game of the season again for both teams. And the Highlanders would love to start out the season here on a positive note. It's been, this is my fifth year broadcasting Highlander hockey and the first four years have been a struggle for this team and now change in the air and we're all certainly hopeful for a great season for this team. On the attack now, Carvalho. And the Highlanders playing what is a more experienced King Philip team out of the South Shore. They're skating with them, standing up to them, and a lot of positive in this first period so far. On the faceoff, Silvestri, Resmini on the right wing, Levy on the left wing. And are we going to have a penalty? No, we won't. Clean hit. We'll play on. And again, can this young Highlander team stand up to these teams with more experience? Shift change now. Number four. Devin Alves coming on defense. Looks like the first line back on. Lentini, Carvalho, and Valesio. Ryan Mercier, number 21 at the left point. 4.45 to go, first period. doing a nice job defensively trying to protect their young goaltender sophomore Kyle Lentini another save by Kyle right there puck is cleared and the icing will be called so the faceoff will take place back in the Highlander end Face off to the left of young Kyle Lentini. Puck played to the point. Shot taken, blocked. And again, King Phillip applying that pressure. This young Highlander team learning as we go along here, but they have kept them off the scoreboard thus far. 0-0 zero, zero with three minutes and 43 seconds to go here in the first period. The Highlanders are battling. McGlashing sending the puck around. You can see number 15, Steven Sampson, sophomore. He had some varsity time a year ago. King Phillip now, shot taken, blocked. Nice job by Anthony on the back check. Carvalho. And again, King Phillip. And Kyle Lentini with the save. 3.11 to go. So the faceoff will take place to the right of Kyle.
And the Highlanders on their heels a little bit here against King Philip. They have to keep battling and fight them off. Number 15, Sampson. Number five, Resmini. Number three, Austin Silvestri. Restarting is King Philip. And nice defensive play by Craig Resmini there, taking the puck off of his man. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go here in the first period. And this is like a victory for the Highlanders in this first period if they can if they can keep the strong King Philip group off of the scoreboard. Carvalho now trying to win that face off. Mercier keeping it in. Puck is cleared. Get on it, Devin. Win the race. Oh, nice pass out front. That that actually came from number four, Sam Ross of King Philip. And he put that puck right on his teammate stick in front of the goal. Luckily, he could not convert. Face off outside the Highlander in, in the neutral zone. Again, that, that first line here of Mercier stepping up with them and Valesio moving to defense. Interesting. Carvalho, the older Lentini, trying to create. He's tripped up in front of the King Philip goal. Ryan Mercier sending it through. And dumping it in the Highlander zone is King Philip. Battle behind the goal. Mercier, number 21. Devin, things getting physical, and it looks like we have a call here, unfortunately. And it looks like paying the price here. Will it be Anthony again? It looks like Lentini and Anthony, both. We have a double penalty here, and that is, wow, wow. So a five on three for King Philip here, not the situation that you wanted. With one minute and 48 seconds to go in the first period, Valesio and the older Lentini called for roughing. They're both minor penalties, but it really hurts when you're down two men now. Five on three for King Philip. The Highlanders, McGlashing will clear. And we'll see if they can ward them off here. Shot taken. Kyle with the save. One minute and 15 seconds to go on that double minor, I should say. Not really a double minor, but just five on three. Two players in the box for the Highlanders. Puck played to the point. Wrist shot knocked away by Lentini. And what can the Highlanders do here? They need to try to clear. They're playing that triangle formation. Wrist shot, and they score. So 1-0 King Phillip after the two penalties. They have their power play goal here. So the Highlanders are gonna have to regroup and get themselves together. The referee having a chat with the players. It looks like they're both going to serve their sentences in the box. And we will now have a five on four as the goal eliminates one of the minors. However, both players will spend the remainder of their time in the box. So a 1-0 hockey game. King Phillip right before the period, the end of the period, I should say, just score on that power play. And
And the Highlanders are going to have to be vigilant here. They're still short-handed. And you know what King Philip is thinking. They're thinking we want to score again before this period ends. And they're right on the attack right away. Puck is cleared. And we're under a minute to go in the first period. 35 seconds to go on that last minor penalty. And now setting things up is King Phillip. The puck played behind Lentini in goal. To the point, wrist shot taken. Lentini with a glove save. 32 seconds to go in the second period, along with 15 seconds to go on the King Phillip power play. Real tough way to end that first period, though, I'll tell you. They suffered that five on three shorthanded and very tough to defend when a team is up two men. Mercier now trying to battle. Devin protecting his goal. Minor penalty over in two seconds. So now we're at full strength. Puck is cleared and the icing is waved off. We continue under 10 seconds to go in the period. Pass out front, Carvalho. Oh my goodness. Almost scoring before the period for the Highlanders. Nifty little pass and the physicality in front of the King Philip goal. So four seconds to go, and we will have a face-off. And it looks like this face-off is going to take place. To the right of Thompson in the King Phillip end. This is Silvestri taking the draw. And the referees just making sure everything's ready to go. I think he's speaking to the clock operator. And now we're ready to play. Silvestri winning the draw. Devin shoot. Shot is blocked. Shot again. And the period ends. 1-0 King Phillip. And... We will take this to the locker room. We'll have a conversation and this new coaching staff for this Somerville Highlander hockey team. They will surely coach these young men up and they'll be ready to come out and play the second period strong, I'm sure. As for King Phillip, very strong team out of the South Shore. They're always a tough opponent and we'll see how the Highlanders fare. And we are ready for second period action. Uh, during the first period, we had the camera on the highest level, the highest shelf here. And we're trying to get a better camera angle for the folks at home. So we've lowered the camera and hopefully this will be a better picture for you. We work hard again to bring you the best picture here at Educational Channel 15. We have. Well, we've been asked to have the camera, have it placed on top, but it's more difficult for the cameraman. And now we've lowered it, and hopefully this initiative will make the viewing of the hockey game a little bit better for you folks at home. Right now, Yeah, right now uh, I have the mom beside me of James Macriconis, number 12, as the Highlanders are now trying to attack King Philip. This is Vicki Macriconis joining us. Hello, Vicki. How you doing, Tim? Hi, families. I'm sure you're proud of James. He's worked hard through his freshman and sophomore years. He's now a junior, and uh, he's in. 
he's enjoying this new system and the new regime? Absolutely. He's having fun coming to the practices every day with his teammates. Said so it's going to be a very exciting year. I made mention of it in the first period, but uh, the reports are great young coaching staff. They've worked awfully hard with the boys. They've instilled some discipline in the system. And uh, you can tell just watching the first period that the boys are just working harder. Uh, they still have some things to learn, obviously, but they're really coming along well. They are, and just look at that fine young coaching staff over there, the professionalism of them. They're all in suit and tie, so that has to tell you something about this new regime. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's not many a hockey coach you see at this level wearing coat and tie, but they are look like professionals through and through. And the boys here, again, to start the second period, Vicky, right on the attack. Well, Tim, I know you have a job to do. Great talking to you, and I'll see you. Thanks, Vicki. And now we have a face-off in the neutral zone. Uh, very nice young lady, Vicki Macraconis. Again, mother of James. I think you just saw her face on the camera. Again, Vicki, thank you for coming. You and your sister Sophia are, without question, the greatest. They are among two of the best classroom teachers in the city of Somerville. They do a fine job with the kids, teaching fifth grade at West Somerville Neighborhood School. Sophia, of course, used to be at Winter Hill Community School working with myself. And Sophia spent many years, uh, excuse me, Vicki spent many years at Healy School. Uh, just a great family, uh, the Carafotis family, and fine service to the city. Uh, these these two young ladies and have done in the classroom for our children. And the Highlanders now. We have Carvalho, Valesio. It looks like, excuse me, Resmini. up front and the Highlanders of course here now we're skating four on four with all of the chatter I neglected to mention that there is an offsetting penalty here and four on four skating here this is McGlashing trying to work the puck around and again, for the folks at home, we're trying to work out the best way to bring you a nice, nice picture on your television. It's, it's, it's hard as far as the netting here and many of the demands of the arena and so forth and how to best bring you this broadcast. Of course, Bill Trudell working so hard to try to make the picture better. He uh, works awfully hard, Bill does. He works many of the athletic sports filming, and he has filmed in pretty much every weather condition, whether it be rain, wind, storms, snow, and he does it all. And he comes to a hockey arena like this. This is a nice little hockey arena here at Veterans Memorial on Somerville Ave. But it's hard to really set a camera up to bring the folks a great picture. And again, he, he's a professional himself and he does a fine job. And the Highlanders have come into this second period again looking to battle this King Philip team. Mercier obviously getting a lot of playing time. You have Carvalho. Valesio still throwing his weight around, and he'll skate off Resmini coming back in. This young Craig Resmini, he's only a freshman, number five. A lot of playing time so far in this opening game of the season. 1-0 King Phillip. The Highlanders would love to tie this game. On the attack here, King Phillip shot his blocked 
next goal is key here. You certainly don't want to be down by two goals, and if the Highlanders can tie this up, it opens up a whole new game. 11 minutes to go here in the second period. Trying to set things up is number 13, Corey Lombardo of King Philip. And they apply the pressure. And the attempted clear by jersey number 11, John Foscarota. He's a returning varsity player seeing his first action so far. Foscarota tries to play that puck forward. Shift change for the Highlanders. Silvestri now, nice little shift. Oh, can he play the puck through? And there will be a penalty here as Silvestri hauled down from behind. And that is a trip. And the Highlanders will certainly have their first power play of this season, this opening game. So opportunity knocking right now with just under 10 minutes to go here in the second period. A penalty on King Phillip. Five on four advantage here for a couple minutes for the Highlanders. Now you know that they've been working on their power play with this young coaching staff. You have Silvestri at center. Devin Alves coming from defense, playing left wing. And it looks like Valesio on the right side, McGlashing along with James McRaconis. McGlashing, Devin, back to McGlashing now. Shot taken and deflected, he scores! Silvestri, Austin Silvestri, and the first goal of the season for the Highlanders. We have a 1-1 hockey game, and that's how a power play should work, folks. That's coaching right there, and great, great work by these young players. 1-1 is the score, and what a great power play right off the bat. 1-1, and the faceoff will come to center ice, and we have a whole new hockey game now. Took about 10 seconds on the power play to score. And the King Phillip player will, of course, finish his time in the box. And we're back to five on five, obviously. High school rules a little bit different as far as the penalty goes. And we play on. Silvestri winning the draw. Mac Reconis in a foot race. He tries to send it up the boards. King Phillip looks like they're coming out with a vengeance off the draw now. They are upset that they just let up that goal. This is Devin. Devin, soon to be one of the stars of this team. Number four out of Winter Hill Community School. Brother Cameron already graduated. And you have to love the intensity now that the Highlanders have. Momentum change. Carvalho on the shot from the angle. King Philip clearing through, and the icing is waved off. We continue play. Corey now behind his own goal, trying to clear Carvalho. That's Valesio again, the physicality, trying to do battle. And we play on. King Phillip now, wrist shot wide. On that wrist shot, that was number 25, Clay Guess of King Phillip. Carvalho now looking to apply the four check. Lentini trying to play through Carvalho. Lentini now, and a nice job by the captain of King Phillip here, number seven, his name is Brandon Ring, he gets a lot of playing time. He's a very big player. Looks like he's at about six foot five, I'd say. And now resetting on the Highlander ch shift change is King Phillip. 
And this is Ring now. Trying to send it through. There is Mercier. Mercier. Levy. Silvestri. You, you have to love the play tonight of Austin Silvestri. He has been hustling. He's been everywhere. He was able to deflect on the wrist shot the goal a few minutes ago. 7.25 to go here in the second period. 1-1 one, one hockey game. This is Highlander hockey now. A whole new team, a whole new way of doing things. Puck played around. Devin tried to play the puck forward. This is Carvalho. On the attack now, King Philip. Mercier. Wrist shot, wide left. And now King Philip trying to assert themselves offensively in the Highlander end. Almost a put, a put back for King Philip there. Nice job by Lentini. And now the Highlanders need to ward them off here. This is a ferocious King Philip team right now. You can just see the anger after that power play goal. The Highlanders now shift change. Get right on them with the forecheck. McGlashan, wrist shot, save Lentini. This is Sampson, number 15. McGlashan doing battle in the corner. Excuse me, James, number 12. And young Kyle Lentini with the pickup. And we'll have a face-off, 5.59 to go, second period. You can hear the King Philip coach here talking to his player from across ice. He wants his player to settle down. I think his temper is getting the best of him right now. We play on Sampson. Older Lantini, wrist shot, save made by Thompson. Nice job by the Highlanders here, keeping the puck in. That was James at the point. Great work, James Macraconis. Attacking now, King Phillip. Nice job defensively again, James. Much improved player from his sophomore year, number 12. Looks like he really worked on his skating. Puck played around. Oh, some nice passing there by King Phillip. Corey trying to clear. Sampson helping out. Puck is cleared through. And Thompson will play it. No icing. We continue five minutes to go here in the second period. Carvalho coming back into the game. So we're looking at Valesio Carvalho and Levy, young Rich Levy. Puck is cleared again. That should be icing, and it is. So the faceoff will take place in the Highlander end. And the coach is barking out instructions to their players. work defensively off the draw for the Highlanders. Levy now trying to play that puck forward. Try to work with Resmini there. Devin. This is Mercier coming back. Nice hustle. Oh, and that puck was driven right in front of the Highlander goal. Luckily the player couldn't get a stick on it. Wrist shot. Oh, and the loose puck put in by King Phillips. So that's a goal. And the referee's having a conversation here. Was the player in the crease? We, they have been awarded the goal, unfortunately. So that's a two to one game. And that was number 10. His name is Bobby Dugan of King Philip with the goal. So two to one King Philip over Somerville. 
Heartbreaker there. The initial save was made by Lentini, and Dugan was able to creep in with a stick and knock in the rebound. So we'll have a face-off at center ice. 4-10 to go, second period. Uh, the coaching staff, uh, the Highlander coaching staff, Maxime Grachev and his assistants having a conversation with the referee. I'm sure they're saying that there was a man in the crease, shouldn't have been there. At any rate, the goal is awarded, so it's two to one King Phillip, and the Highlanders now a goal behind. They'll go right back to work. Four minutes to go, second period. As long as you don't let them get up by two goals, very much in the game are the Highlanders. They need to keep battling, don't lose the faith. Don't lose their sense of confidence. They've had their own momentum spurts and they can play with this team. Wrist shot and that is deflected away. And again, going to work here is King Phillip. Puck is driven wide. Wrap around, almost scored. Nice save by Lentini. And again, here is King Phillip now. They're kind of camping out in front of the Highlander goal, but we finally break through. Slap shot is blocked by Mercier. Trying to do battle there is Lentini. Wrist shot saved by younger brother Kyle. This is Devin. He'll knock the puck around. Anthony Valesio always looking to try to put a hurt on the opponent, no matter how large. Lentini playing the puck through. This is Anthony now. He'll do battle again. Very physical player, Anthony is. He's a, he has that stick work talent also and again he is going to be looked upon as being one of the main cogs of this team this year Resmini he's able to clear resetting is King Philip we're down to two minutes to go here in the second period two to one lead for King Philip puck is cleared Nice job by Carvalho there. And we'll have Ison. So the faceoff will take place back in the Highlander end. N nice job, Mr. Bill Trudell here. Hopefully the picture looks better at home for the folks where we have the camera now again underneath the netting, which we hope improves the situation. The Highlanders now gonna have to dig deep here in their own end. King Phillip putting on that pressure again in front of the Highlander goal. These one-on-one -on -one battles for the puck, they need to win. And the puck is cleared now. However, I believe we're gonna have an icing call and we do. So again, we'll have another face off in the Highlander end. 1.25 to go, second period. And what the Highlanders have to do now is keep this, at the very least, keep it a one goal game as we go into the second intermission. It's two to one right now. And right now, all the momentum with King Phillip. So the Highlanders now, your job boys, go right to work. Have got to make a stop. Puck is cleared off the draw. And again, the Highlanders doing a nice job. Icing waved off. We're down to the last minute of the second period.
Mercier now trying to clear, and again, King Philip. This is Dugan, number 10. He scored the second goal for King Philip. Wrist shot wide, dodging a bullet there was the Highlanders. And again, moving the puck around nicely is King Philip. Rebound, two nice saves by Kyle Lantini. Good job, young man. And again, Lantini just being attacked at every angle, and he's able to cover, excuse me, cover up. And this will be a face-off. And the officials here want everyone to clear out. We'll have a face-off down. We are down, I should say, to 25 seconds left in the second period. Two to one, King Philip. Educational Channel 15. Always proud to bring you varsity sports here, and this is the opening game of the hockey season. And this Highlander hockey team, though trailing right now, they look like they can be a very competitive team this year. We'll see how the season goes. They're very young, and they're still learning. And again, another great save by the goaltender, Lentini. He's really kind of saving this team right now. Good job, Kyle. We're down to 13 seconds to go in the second period. Maxime Grachev is the new coach, and he has been barking out instructions all evening to his players. And we're down to less than 10 seconds, and it's over the second period. So two to one, and as we head into intermission, we look for the Highlanders to play a strong third period. And we're ready for third period action here. Again, the score two to one, King Philip. Highlanders battling though. Remember, the Highlanders are the less experienced team. This King Philip team, they've been around, they've been in the tournament, they're, they have a good reputation coming out of the South Shore as being a very strong team, as I've said before. And the Highlanders, though they're down a goal, they have shown up tonight. If they can put together a strong third period, you just never know. It's vital now that they come on strong for the last 15 minutes of this hockey game. Again, three 15 minute periods are played in MIAA hockey. The Highlanders are gonna have to be vigilant here. Nice block there by Devin, we play on. Anthony trying to find Carvalho, pass is blocked though. And transition here for King Phillip. And they're looking to set things up in front of the Highlander goal. Highlanders have to pick up their men here. If they're gonna stay in this game in this third period, they're gonna have to play strong hockey, they're gonna have to skate hard. Right now, King Phillips starting to set things up here. And a nice dive by Corey McGlashing. The puck will be played, the backhand there, and will reset the goal as Anthony Valesio trying to take on two large King Philip players and Valesio, he is the fearless one. So a shift change here for the Highlanders. This is Austin Silvestri, Craig Resmini, and number 15, Steve Sampson. And on defense, Mercier and James McRaconis. So we'll see if these forwards for the Highlanders can step up big here. Mercier trying to play through and again, King Philip is there to thwart the Highlander break. Wrist shot just wide of Lentini in goal.
King Phillip here looking to set things up. That's Dugan, number 10. We're right down to about the 13 minute mark to go in this hockey game. Silvestri clears. And again, King Philip. This is ring of King Philip, number seven, one of the captains. And the puck is cleared. Shot off the post. Good job in the goal by Kyle Lentini. He's played a strong game in net. Puck played to the point. Wrist shot blocked. This is Carvalho now trying to go one on one with his man. And Thompson, the goaltender for King Phillip, able to cover up. 12 15 to go in this hockey game. So the face off to the left of Thompson. Puck play to the point. Devin Alves now. Devin wrapping it around, and King Phillip again, keeping the puck in the Highlander end. Lentini, he has Anthony. Wrist shot wide, I wish he passed the puck there. Number 11, John Foscarota skating another shift for the Highlanders. James now doing a nice job. Lentini. Captain Jonathan Lentini, number 13. This is Mercier from the point. Shot wide. James trying to keep the puck in, doing battle with three players from King Philip. Carvalho now. And the offside as Lentini was clearing the zone himself. So the faceoff will take place in the neutral zone nearest to our camera. And again, for the folks at home, we hope the picture a little bit better. Educational Channel 15 again, proud to bring you Varsity Sports here at Veterans Memorial Arena on Somerville Ave. The first game of the season for this Varsity Highlander hockey team. Fresh faces, both from the coaching, stamp, coaching staff and player personnel. We play on Sampson now. He'll clear. Austin, Silvestri, trying to create and now restarting of the Highlanders here. This is James from behind his own goal. Tried to get the puck to Carvalho. James. Resetting King Phillip. We're down to about the 10 minute mark to go in this hockey game. Nice defensive play there by James. Anthony, we got a high stick on Mercier, and it looks like he will be spoken to, and that means a face-off will take place in the neutral zone. As he kind of clipped that puck out. Actually, the face-off to the left, excuse me, of young Kyle Lentini. We play on here. Resetting King Phillip now. Puck played in. Corey getting it around. Ooh, and Anthony Valesio kind of clothesline there. Took a tough shot. 
as he was pursuing his man with the puck. Anthony took a real tough shot there. King Phillip now. Oh, and what a defensive play by Corey McGlashing. Right now it's all King Phillip as things getting a little physical here in the Highlander end. Anthony Valesio trying to do battle with a couple of King Phillip players. They're all larger in size than he is. And the icing is called, so the faceoff will take place in the Highlander end. Young Anthony Valesio again, number 14. He, he will do battle with any customer, no matter the size of the player. However, just hope he can keep his temper in gear. The last thing we need is a, is a power play for King Philip. So Anthony, we urge you to keep playing a strong game, keep playing that tough physical style. But just remember, we don't need a penalty. Puck is played wide. And King Philip again trying to attack. I really have to, to single out the defense for the Highlanders this evening. Devin Alves, Ryan Mercier, Corey McGlashing, James McRaconis doing a great job defensively against a very good King Phillip team. Two to one is the score, and th especially the defense tonight has stepped up big. Of course, Kyle Lantini in goal has done a great job and trying to make another save here in front of his own goal. Whistle blown, 7.55 to go in this hockey game. I would say that thus far, those are our five stars for tonight though. The four defensemen and Kyle Lantini in goal. And it looks like we have on the draw Carvalho on with Resmini and Sampson. Puck is cleared. Sampson in pursuit. King Phillip now trying to start that attack. Puck played around. Carvalho playing the puck back to Sampson. And again, King Phillip offensively trying to put on the pressure again to acknowledge great defensive work. James and Devin, good job. Now Corey and Ryan coming back into the action. Those are the four defensemen, the key defensemen for the Highlanders this year. Face off to the right of young Kyle Lentini. Seven minutes to go in this hockey game. And the draw. Clean win for King Phillip. Mercier with the block. Whistle blown and into the neutral zone we go. 6.51 left. Austin Silvestri on the draw. Nice win there. Corey McGlashing, Anthony Valesio. And again, King Phillip trying to set things up here in the Highlander end. And a wrist shot that was ring.
And again, Anthony in the middle of the action, doing battle with Dugan. And I think there'll be a string of penalties here. Not sure if they'll be offsetting. We'll see what happens here. And is Anthony on his way to the box here? We'll see what we have. And it looks like Ryan Mercier is going to serve as well as number 10 Dugan of King Philip. Those of course will be offsetting penalties. And I think Anthony Valesio is just called to the sin bin. So he will serve time, which does not bode well for the Highlanders here. It looks like they'll be shorthanded with two men in the box compared to the King Philip one. So we have now what is most assuredly a power play for King Philip, and the Highlanders will skate shorthanded down a goal in this third period. This is a very tough situation now. Mentioned earlier, Anthony, with his temper here, and, and he's a great young player. It's great to have him on the team, and this is something that he'll have to work on because he's a vital part of this team, and we're certainly going to need him this season. And now Valesio leaving the box and I believe he has been he has been ejected from this hockey game. Now what what does this mean from a penalty standpoint? You have Mercier in the box serving his penalty Anthony's that is now that he's been removed is number 31 Cameron Mulcahy. So Mulcahy is in the box for Anthony Valesio who has been ejected. So down to four skaters it looks like will be the Highlanders again. And if I'm not mistaken King Philip should have five skaters on. So a five on four power play for King Philip, exactly what the Highlanders did not need here. Uh, this is what I was a little bit afraid would, would happen. Uh, you know, again, a key player for the team, kind of lost his cool a little bit, so he's gonna have to make a comeback in the next game. And I'm not sure if he'll serve a suspension or not. At any rate, the Highlanders now shorthanded with 6.22 in this game, down a goal. We'll see if they can keep battling the way they have. And there's still a conversation with the clock keeper. And I think they're still discussing this Anthony Valesio penalty here. So the conversation continues. Mr. Bill Trudell on the camera here for Educational Channel 15. Again, he does such a great job. Educational Channel 15, proud to bring you varsity sports. This King Philip team, now that they are on a power play here, up a goal in the third, they're obviously in the driver's seat. And the Highlanders will most assuredly man up here and they will, they will battle. Now we're ready to continue. And Jonathan Lentini able to clear. So resetting their power play is King Philip. See if the Highlanders can slow this down here. Austin Silvestri, Jonathan Lentini, Devin Alves, and Corey McGlashan. The four men in for the Highlanders. 
King Phillips setting up wrist shot wide. And again, the wrist shot coming. That's, excuse me, James McRaconis on defense there for the Highlanders. And now the shift change coming. Resmini, number five. And again, great job penalty killing. Devin Alves with James, Resmini, and Chris Carvalho. And the Highlanders doing a great job so far on the kill. Ten seconds left, though. And the wrist shot saved by Young Lentini in goal. Puck played to the point. One second left. Wrist shot wide. So the Highlanders now back at full strength. Wrist shot deflected over the Highlander goal. And right now, all King Philip here. Good job by the Highlanders killing the penalty. But there's four minutes and 30 seconds to go in this hockey game. And the Highlanders are going to have to continue to not only defend in their own end, but they're going to have to try to find a way to get a shot on goal here in the remaining minutes. That puck is cleared. It's icing. So the faceoff will come back into the Highlander end to the left of Kyle Lantini in net. To the face off. Puck played to the point. McGlashing. Mercier trying to clear. Again, King Phillip applying that pressure. Mercier again able to dig it out. Corey McGlashing getting it to Jonathan Lentini. McGlashing now, wrist shot, deflected high in the air. Sampson. Mercier, three and a half minutes to go in this hockey game, two to one King Phillip. Again, all green uniforms, King Phillip, white and red, our Highlanders, white, red, and blue, I should say. Steve Sampson will play the puck in. Shift change for the Highlanders. We're looking at Resmini coming in, along with Devon. Wrist shot wide of the goal. Puck comes around, it'll clear the zone. And we have a player down for the Highlanders. Unfortunately, my eyes were on the puck, so I didn't see what happened here. And it looks like Devon took a shot to the face. So somehow, some way, he may have gotten a stick or something. We'll see exactly what happened. Athletic trainer coming out to take a look at him. He's sh shaking up a little bit, but he looks like he's ready to get up on his feet. See how he is here. You didn't see that, Bill, did you? And the official, the referee, uh, at least thus far, there's no call as far as a penalty. Devin will come off. Looks like he'll be okay. And I'm not sure if one of the King Phillips kind of snuck in a high stick to the face of Devin or not. He'll be looked after by the trainer here in the locker room. And we are down to 3.02. Three minutes and two seconds to go in this hockey game. Faceoff will take place in the neutral zone. Silvestri will take the draw. You have Mac Braconis and Mercier on defense. McGlashing goes to right wing. Resmini on the left side. He has possession. Offside called right off the faceoff. So 2.59 to go in this hockey game. And can the Highlanders somehow, some way, find a way to score here in the last three minutes of action? If they were to tie this game, it would be a, like a victory because 
King Philip, obviously on paper, on paper they're supposed to win, and the Highlanders battling hard here. All three periods they have. Silvestri will take the draw again. McGlashing on the right wing. James stepping up. Corey coming back, and he tries to clear. He'll have to wrap it around the boards, and King Philip now trying to camp out again in the Highlander end. Just under two and a half minutes to go in this hockey game. Two to one King Philip here. Can the Highlanders dig out a score? What a save by Kyle. And he just saved the third goal for King Philip right there, Kyle Lantini. Again, one of the stars for the Highlanders of this game, for sure. He took a lot of shots tonight, a whole bunch of shots, and he has stepped up big. On the attack now, King Philip. For Sakata, coming back on, McGlashing. We're down to a minute and a half, just about a minute and a half to go in this hockey game. On the attack now, King Phillip, two on one. Wrist shot, Lentini with the save, young Lentini again. I just acknowledge the fact that he has stopped a lot of shots tonight, and he did it again. Another wrist shot coming a little bit wide. And we're getting right down to that minute and 15 mark. From the point, wrist shot coming through. Lentini again with a save. King Philip again with the pressure. Backhand save, Lentini. Kyle Lentini. Backhand all King Philip right now. Wrist shot blocked again by James. Sampson able to clear. We're under a minute to go in the hockey game, and because of the ceiling, the puck hitting the ceiling, we'll have a face-off, but a flurry of offense coming from King Philip Regional. And we wonder now, will a timeout be called? Will the goaltender be pulled? We'll see what the coaching staff has in order. And uh, a, a timeout ha just has been called, actually. So Coach Maxime Grachev will gather his team together here and down a goal with under a minute to go. We'll see what he comes up with. You know the goaltender is being given instructions right now as to when and where to come off. And I'm sure if the, if the, once that puck comes out of the Highlander zone, he will be called off for an extra skater. 48 seconds to go in this opening hockey game of the season for the, hot, for the excuse me, the Highlanders. It's a two to one score, King Philip with the lead. So the face off in the neutral zone right outside of the Highlander end. And I'm sure if, if we can get the puck into the King Philip end, I'm sure the goaltender will be pulled, Kyle. And Carvalho. And the goaltender coming off now for that skater. Silvestri, we have the extra skater. Open net for King Philip. Get back, James. James taking his time. We're down to a half a minute to go, 30 seconds. An extra skater for the Highlanders here. Nice job by King Philip. And a wrist shot just wide. Oh, and saving that goal there. We're down to 13 seconds to go. The wraparound attempt blocked again. And we have a whistle because of the goal being moved. So that's why the referee blew the whistle. So we'll have a face off with 8.9 seconds to go. And we might have a penalty because the player for King Phillip continue to skate and play after the whistle blown and that's delay of game so he will have to go to the sin bin he'll he'll serve his penalty so we're looking at a a 
power play for the last 8.9 seconds, obviously, for the Highlanders. Lentini will come off for a sixth, sixth skater, excuse me. And the faceoff, because of the penalty, will take place in the King Philip end. So we have one last chance to tie this game. Now remember, hypothetically, if we were to tie this game, that's, that's a victory for us, basically. Because, because King Philip, again, they're supposed to beat us. They're supposed to be better than us. But we as Highlanders know differently. And hey, you just never know what's going to happen here in the last 8.9 seconds. The draw will be taken by Corey McGlashing at the point. James, Corey backhand just wide. Six seconds to go. And Carvalho, he'll shoot. Deflected, they score! They score! They score! And we have tied the game with no time left in the clock. And this is a just like a victory for the Highlanders. This is an upset to say the least even though this game will end in a tie. Highlanders tie this game with no time left on the clock, two to two. And that's a long ride home for King Philip. They were supposed to win this game and they didn't. So we have a tie to begin the season here in Somerville and we will take it for sure. We will take it for sure. The second goal has not been put up on the scoreboard yet, but the referee is at center ice. It is a goal, now two to two, and they're putting two seconds back on the, on the clock, and King Philip will have to go home with, the, with their tails between their legs, for sure. They should have won this game easily, and they didn't. The new Highlander coaching staff and this new fresh faces of players tie this game two to two, and that's how it's done here. Wow. This is an upset to say the least. Now Silvestri, trying to speak over the crowd here. Silvestri takes the draw, game set and match, two to two, just like a win for the Highlanders. Congratulations, the coaches hug, and that's how it's done, and a long bus ride home for King Philip. Long bus ride home. Bill Tradell, great job tonight. Very exciting hockey game. And you can see the tide has changed here for Somerville High School hockey after four years of just what has amounted to be confusion and disruption. This is a real team now, Bill. And they are here to play. And they have just tied a team that was supposed to annihilate them tonight. A two to two, no time left on the clock. And congratulations, boys. We will see you next time. Bill Tradell again, great job on the camera. Joe Constantine, the director. My name is Tim Cronin. Yes, your your television set says two to two to two, excuse me, but this is like a victory for the Highlanders. They just knocked off a big dog with no time left on the clock. And we will see you next time.